<laughs> Yo, Sapods. Um, yes, that title is very clickbaity, but I will get to that. Um, but first, uh, this is my new setup. Uh, I accidentally washed my old phone in the washing machine and it stopped working. So I had to get a new phone and um, it's an upgrade. But um, my old phone had an auxiliary jack and I didn't know, but these are very important for mic quality. So make sure if you are you know, have a phone without an aux jack and you have to go this route, make sure that you go with a a good high quality brand one. Right now I, I had to pay like $22 for an Anchor uh, USB-C to aux jack. So yeah, I'll maybe I'll do like, a, I'll show, show you the sound. But yeah, it was pretty terrible. But yeah, also Ver verisgear.com. Get your fucking, get your various stuff going. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will show you the phone that is mining um, Varus at 32 bits. Um, so here's the phone that is 32 bit and it is currently hashing. Right now on screen, it's getting about 349 kilo hash and it's pulling 1.4 watts from the wall so i put that in various mining calculator and this phone is mining at a loss so i know this phone runs a 32-bit uh kernel but i think the chip in it might be 64-bit but the person who sent me the um the code to be able to do this uh, doesn't want the information out, so don't ask for it. But I'll just let you know it is possible to mine Varus on 32 bit phones. Uh, is it worth it? Uh, probably not because this phone is getting about, yeah, like, like I said, 350 kilo hash, which is only 0.3 mega hash. So not really worth it at all. But it is possible. So if you nerds out there want to try to do it, I'm just letting you know it can be done. I forgot to say, the phone that I am mining off of is a Revel 4 uh, by T-Mobile. So if you want to look up the specs of the phone, you can see that it is 32-bit. I don't know how much proof I need to provide, but that is a 32-bit phone. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know it's possible to do it. Um, but as I showed, uh, it's pulling 1.4 watts and it's only getting 0.3 mega hash. And yeah, um, I also wanted to talk about, so in Varus right now, we had a giant move up to about a dollar thirty-five, and that exploded out of nowhere. And um, right now, I don't think it is actually a good time to be buying phones. Um, right now, you should be accumulating Varus, and then when we get that next shot up, uh, uh, buy your phones or buy your, you know, your Xeon boards or AMD boards or whatever. But yeah, um, if we retest 45 cents, buy it. Like that is my price. If, if, if I see Varus go back down to 45 cents, I am dropping my everything I have on it and I'm gonna ride it up to, to, you know, to, to, to the moon. So yeah, I think it's um, more, you're gonna make more buying Varus right now. At, even at this price, I think I think right right now it's seventy cents. I'm I'm even considering buying some right now. Like it's just that move to a dollar thirty five was just such a big move, and yeah, it 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 was something that needed to be t tested. We got rejected. Now if we bounce off the forty five, I think we're golden, and I think we are headed to the moon. And yeah, so 
start accumulating Varus and uh, you can put it on your desktop and you can stake it and you can get um, Varus that way. So that is my advice right now. Um, I only, I'm only accumulating phones because I have a series on YouTube called Road to One Giga Hash, but I think it is much, much more beneficial to buy Varus right now than it is to mine Varus. And yeah, um, I think that's all about, that's about it. Uh, all my affiliate links are down below. Um, and there is a link to my discord and in my discord, we are quite active and we are just a bunch of members helping each other with, uh, to, to grow our best farm. So yeah, um, this is just a quick video and it, it was mostly just to test out my new camera and my new mic setup, but yeah, uh, I'll catch you later.